Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all doing well. Today I'm going to do a video that was very popular on my channel a couple of years ago and I thought I should do an updated one and just in case anybody is still struggling because I know The Sims can be quite bad for lag and just all round running quite slow. So today I'm going to show you guys how to reduce lag and reduce any kind of slowness in your game. So just all round make The Sims 4 run faster. I'd probably alter your settings before you add mods because the one thing I'm going to say right from the start is that the biggest thing that will slow your game down is going to be mods. As much as I love custom content and mods, they do slow the game down quite a lot. My game takes quite a few minutes to open compared to when it updates and the mods are disabled. I see a massive difference. So definitely, first off, is limit the amount of mods you have. Okay, so this is my Sims 4 folder currently. And if I click on mods, you'll see I have 4,456 mods. And this is a lot of mods. This is this is so many mods. I probably don't need all these, but I do like, you can see, like, there's loads. I do like custom content, so if you're having issues, maybe try and cut down on mods. Maybe try and reduce the types of mods. I only use a couple of script mods because script mods, obviously impact again quite a decent amount the next thing i would recommend that if you take screenshots quite a lot this is going to matter to you so the screenshots tab you want to go here and you can see there is a lot these load every time you open the game so what i would recommend doing is just literally i'm literally going to do it myself just going here and just doing this and just deleting all of them literally just get rid of them already my game's going to load so much faster if you do want to keep screenshots, maybe go and make a file somewhere else out of this documents file. So you don't want it to be in your electronic art document file. That is where it's going to have to load every time you start the game. So what I do for things that I'm using, for example, if I'm using it for my thumbnails, I always use pictures of my Sims in game for thumbnails. All I like to do is just create a folder somewhere else on the PC. So I'll put it on a different hard drive. And I'll just make sure that I just, every time I take a screenshot, I'll take them from the screenshot folder and the Sims folder, move them out of there and put it somewhere else in a different folder and name it Sims 4 screenshots or in my case I name it like Sims 4 thumbnails. And that way it doesn't have to load every time you run your game. So then going back to here, the next thing I always, always, always like to do is these last exceptions. If you have UI cheat, you can see I have last UI exceptions, you can see I have last exceptions, these are things that the game, if there's an error with like custom content or mods or something just doesn't load right, it does that. So I just like to go through and I just literally highlight all of them, they're all in a row, and again I just delete them and my game's going to run faster again, and it's not going to come up a big orange box telling me there's a last exception when I open my game. So I would go ahead and delete that, uh, and hopefully that will impre increase your game speed, but if it doesn't, the next thing you can do as this local thumb cache package you can delete that as well that will not do anything to the game you're it's nothing to do with saving anything it's just like a history of your game running i think i'm actually not too sure but every time i've deleted this i've had no issues and it has just sped my game right up so i would recommend doing that as well always delete the last exception and the local thumb cache and this file will come back straight away when you start the game and you can see it does tell you the size of it and mine is getting kind of up there so this would be around the time i'd kind of delete it because i've been playing sims a little bit more recently so i'd go ahead and that would definitely make a difference okay so the next thing is in game and it's when you get like you see this lag i'm kind of getting so if you are experiencing lag when your sims are moving i don't know if i'll get it right now see it's running fine if you do get a little bit of lag and it starts lagging while you're doing this the best thing to do is just click escape Give it a second sometimes i click on other stuff like i maybe even save it just to be sure and then when i click the x it will just go back to running smoothly again as you can see so if you're having a bit of like lag while you're playing that can really help it so definitely try that next thing i'm going to suggest is to play in windowed full screen so you can go from like i can like come off completely off my screen and click on my other screen and stuff this i don't know why it speeds it up but it definitely does um, it definitely makes a very big difference to your gameplay playing on windowed full screen. I didn't know that for a long time and it definitely slowed it down. But ever since I've known it, it's been so much more helpful. It is so much easier and yeah, it just makes the game a little bit quicker. The next thing is definitely to make sure you are playing on the graphic specifications that are going to work for your PC. So I have a pretty good graphics card for this game, so I don't have to really worry about this. But you can turn things down, 
can turn the quality down maybe even just go down from like i'm on ultra right now so maybe just go down one level from what you currently are set at and then see how that runs if it doesn't go down another one you can also choose to just turn down specific things so if you're not so bothered about the look of reflections like i don't really probably care but you can turn that down itself you don't have to turn down everything you can turn down specific things if you still want your sims to look very very good high quality keep that up and then turn like objects down or the lighting down or the reflections down and that is definitely going to make the game run better because it's not having to process as much it's not having to work as hard and it'll just hopefully run a bit smoother you can also turn on laptop mode uh, um, as you can see it uh, enables faster rendering and reduces visual quality so that is going to help if you're playing on a lower quality graphics card or a, a laptop like it says uh, that'll help and that should again speed your game up the next thing i'd recommend is to check this page on the sims and just make sure that you are meeting all of these requirements because if you don't have these it is definitely none of the things i'm recommending are probably going to help so like four gigs of ram is a minimum but it does recommend eight like i have 16 i think and that runs pretty well so you definitely want to make sure you are within these specifications so i would most most definitely before you even download the game i would recommend just checking that this will run on your current setup and what you expect to play on don't expect that if you have the minimum that it's going to run amazingly in high quality like what you see in people's youtube videos because that just isn't that isn't going to happen so please do check this very first see how it compares to what specs you have make sure your setup is going to run this and then you don't have to worry so much because there's no point in downloading the game you can't run the next thing is is space you need to have space on your pc laptop whatever you're using because it is a big game especially if you use my technique and you got all of the packs so everything right now as of the 19th of december 2023 the whole game all the packs is 60.9 gigabytes that's pretty big so you definitely want to have i'd say double what it requires so I, in my case like it says it's 60.9 so i would want to have 120 or more gigabytes just because the less space you have like the less the game's going to be able to like read and write and save onto your file onto the files and be just all around you just want to make sure that you have enough space for it if you don't have enough space it's going to run a little bit slower maybe just move it if you have a different storage device so yeah if you've done all those hopefully your game will run a little bit better now and of course like i said the main thing is if you have a lot of mods that is going to be the biggest game changer i would definitely look into cutting down your mods before you do anything else and also making sure that none of those mods are outdated definitely update those mods because that is super super important you'll find that if you have a lot of mods a lot of your lag is going to come from the mods so i always update my mods every time there's an update to the game a patch anything i go ahead and update them even if there isn't an update i just update them to keep my memory fresh because it'll tell you on your files the date you updated that game the date you put the new file in and that just keeps everything kind of running smooth up to date everything going good and yeah, if you enjoyed the video, give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe down below for loads more Sims videos. And there's a bunch more on my channel. You can find loads and loads and loads if you head onto my channel. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!